Hey everyone over here, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? I have a Bath & Body Works haul for you. And this was inspired by Casey Holmes. If you guys are not following her, I have information down below. Or maybe I'll be able to put something up here for you guys. But she showed some candles in a haul that she did. Or some of her favorites, I think it was. So these are some that I picked out. I went on the site and they had, you get $10 off a $20 purchase. So this is the first candle I'm going to show you. And this one is from the Aromatherapy. And this is called Comfort vanilla plus chai and then this is what the lid looks like and it says here on the bottom that it has vanilla absolute and patchouli oil so vanilla absolutely calms the mind to encourage relaxation and patchouli oil creates a sense of harmony oh my god this smells so good this smells like it, it's white on the inside. Uh, well, it's actually a cream color on the inside. This is reminding me of a perfume that I like. I just can't remember the name of it. If you tend to like more um, of the warmer scents, um, woodsy scents for perfumes, you're going to like this. And I love the packaging. It's really pretty. So this is the first one that I picked out. The next one I picked out was this one, the Black Teak Wood. I've never tried this one because I do like the original one. Um, I burn that one every winter fall whatever you want to call it for the winter time i love that one so i love the packaging it's like that black marble i really like that most of the ones that i picked have marbling on it and the tones on here or the scents i should say the notes are rich mahogany black teakwood dark oak and frosted lavender so this is the inside it's a white color and this smells to me, this one actually smells milder than the original um, Mahogany Teakwood. That's what it's called. But it smells really good. I feel like this is going to be a very nice relaxing um, scent because I could definitely smell the lavender. And that's one of the things that I like about the Mahogany Teakwood is that when I put that one on, it just totally relaxes me and it just kind of makes me feel like it's a really nice, you know, winter day out, a lot of snow, that vibe, you know. So I got this one and I really like it so far and I haven't even burned it yet. So if you like mahogany teak wood, definitely recommend this one. If you think that one is too strong, I think you'll like this one more. Now, I had to get this one. And this one it says, but first, coffee. Because if you guys don't know, I am an avid coffee drinker. I love coffee. I drink it every day. Um, But with the vertigo, I can't drink it any, every day anymore. But I do love my coffee. And let's see what the notes are on this one. It's rich roasted coffee sugar brioche and vanilla creme so let's see what that smells like oh my god here's the inside this smells like honestly this smells like what i make at home when i brew my coffee this smells totally like you smell coffee and it definitely you can smell like it's kind of like a cross between the caramel macchiato and the creme brulee you know the one that they have for the winter time oh my god this totally smells like creme brulee latte from starbucks i love this it's very sweet and it's coffee smell so i'm definitely gonna love putting this on especially on those days where i need an extra perk up and i can't have that extra cup of coffee or i can't have coffee that day definitely recommend this if you are someone who loves the scent of coffee like you like going into the you know wherever you like to go whether it's starbucks or dunkin donuts and you like the smell of coffee definitely pick this one up now i picked this one solely based on the container because i absolutely love it it's like that um black with gray marbling it's so pretty and this one is called sunlit cedar and then i read the notes and i was like okay i've never tried one with those type of notes in it and those notes are fresh cut cedar eucalyptus and cypress leaves i love eucalyptus so i'm hoping that i'm gonna like the way this smells oh my god what does that smell like oh it smells so good okay right now from the new ones this is my second favorite right now because the coffee one is definitely number one of the ones the new ones that i've smelled um oh my god it's kind of close yeah, this is definitely second and the then the vanilla patchouli comes in third because that kind of smells like typically what I like. But the two distinct scents that I've tried, this one definitely my second one. Oh my god, this smells so good. Um, even though it doesn't say it has lemon in it, to me it has like a lemon, pine, but not necessarily pine. What's that other herb? 
it has a very fresh scent is what I'm going to say. But it's like fresh winter scent. So it's kind of like if you have a Christmas tree. That's what it smells like. Like, you know, when you get those fresh Christmas trees, that's what it smells like, but not really strong. So it's a milder version of that. So if you're looking for something that smells like a fresh cut Christmas tree, but you don't like that extreme pine scent, because I'm not a fan of very pine scent. I think you're going to like this. And I love the packaging too. This is definitely going to be nice to reuse because I like to reuse their um, jars when I'm done with them. I use them all over my house everywhere. So I really like this one as well. Now, I'm not sure if Casey picked this one, but I picked it because I love sandalwood and vetiver. So this one's called vetiver sandalwood. And I like that it's kind of like um, a piece of wood if you look at it, like really white wood. And the notes on this one are vetiver, vetiver grass, velvety, sandy, sandy wood, sandalwood, and warm musk. So let's see what this one smells like. Mm. This one smells good, but at first it gave me too much of a perfumey scent, but not in a good way. But now that I smell it a little more, it's not as bad. So this one, I'm, I don't know, we'll see when I burn it, but it smells good, but it's not my favorite right now, but I, I don't hate it either. I'm just hoping that when I burn it, it's not a strong perfumey scent because I don't like perfume that like when someone gets close to you, like they're not even close to you is what I'm trying to say, and you're like, whoa, and you can smell it right away. So I'll burn this one, and then I'll update you guys further if I liked it or not. Um, but this one so far is at the top is at the bottom not at the top is what I meant to say and last but not least This was the candle that she talked about and this is the cinnamon spiced vanilla three of my favorite things And I love the packaging this black marbling is so beautiful I would love to actually put like contact paper like this in my closet if I could find it And um, decorate my shelves with it because my closet shelves need some good painting um, But the tones I keep saying the tones I see so much talk about makeup. We don't think about tones, but the notes on this are fresh ground cinnamon sugar crystal and tahitian vanilla bean three of my favorite things oh my god this smells like a sugar cookie it smells so good and it's it's like a sugar cookie and a cinnamon at the same time so if you guys like cinnabons the smell of a cinnabon remember those in the mall i don't know if they still have those and sugar cookies then you're definitely gonna like this so this one is more of a sweet one on this one so I, I like the way this smells so these two are definitely for those who like a sweeter um scent so this is straight up cookie scent this is straight up a coffee scent i'm gonna say that these two are definitely in the fresh scent so if you like that type of you will like these this one is very like perfumey but i'm not sure if i'm gonna like it or not i'll let you guys know like i said and this one is definitely also in that category, but this one I like more because it's more vanilla in it. Um, so, so far from all of them, this is the one that I'm questionable about. But I'll let you guys know because I was also the same way about the mahogany teakwood when I got it the first time. And No, it wasn't mahogany teakwood. It was another one. I can't remember the name of it. If I can remember the name of it, I'll put it here. But I didn't like the way it smelled initially. But then when I burned it, I fell in love with it. So that's all the candles I have for you guys today from the Bath & Body Works. I did two separate hauls so that I could get the coupon. So get the $10 off and I just paid $20. Um, I didn't do them back to back. I kind of did them you know separately so i just waited till i got both so i could unbox with you guys here so let me know what are the latest bath and body works candles or any candles that you've picked up recently for the winter time i think i'll be set because i don't burn through my candles like um most people do so i think these will last me quite a while so hope you guys enjoy this and i will see you guys later bye